Hey, there you are. I was wondering where you went. Pretty good, pretty good. What about you? What you doing out here all by your lonesome? Ah, getting some fresh air. I'm guessing the party's getting a little too much for you. Yeah, I don't really blame you. It is getting crowded in there. It's not even funny. There are so many unfamiliar faces in there. I was trying to figure out where you went. I was asking so many people, even people that I didn't even know, that I knew for a fact you didn't know. I was asking, like, where you went. Because, like, one moment you're right next to me, chatting up a storm, and then it gets a little crowded, and then the next moment you're gone. Like, poof. Like you fell into the back rooms or something. <laughs> but I really don't blame you, because, like, 90% of the people in there I don't even know. But it feels great to be out here and just get some fresh air. Just escape from the overcrowdedness. Oh, man. How'd you do on that test? See, I knew you were going to ace it. You are just that damn talented. I got a 74%. Not the best, but not the worst at the same time. And it's a passing grade, so a win is a win. I'll take what I can get. But I'm just so damn happy that I don't have to study for it anymore. Girl, you have no clue how stressful that was for me. Did I ever tell you how stressful it was? Really? I didn't? Oh yeah, yeah. I was supposed to tell you. Well, may as well get it done now. Girl, studying for that test was like... Uh, look, I, I don't know about you, because you studied for the same test and you turned out fine. But when I was studying for it, it was like actual hell on earth for me. I, I felt like I was going through every single saw trap at once, mentally. It was so, so stressful. I pulled two all-nighters, and the first one was just me organizing my notes, and the second all-nighter was me actually studying. Two all-nighters back-to-back. I almost missed the test because I didn't get enough sleep the night before the test. But I'll tell you this, when I, when I got home after I finished the test, I just plopped right into bed and I fell asleep and woke up the next morning. I went to sleep at like 11 a.m. and then I woke up at 9 a.m. That's why I didn't answer your calls. I was past the frick out. <laughs> eh, don't pity me. I'm perfectly fine now. I'm a big strong boy. Here I am in college and I got a 74%. No one can stop me. Except you, because you got a better grade than me. <sighs> hey. How have you been feeling? Well, I just wanted to check up on you. I haven't really done that in a while. You want to talk to me about anything? I'm here. Yeah, we can go and sit on the bench. Come on. Uh, all right. Say what's on your mind. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I see. You're unsure about your future after the breakup. Yeah, breakups will do that to you. They're really not nice. It's not fun to go through at all. I'm so sorry that you have to put up with that. I really am, and I'm so sorry that you got your heart broken like that. Oh, come here. Come here. Shh, 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 it's okay. Yeah, it's okay, you're all right. No, no. Life is really cruel sometimes, and it really does suck. You're going to have good days, and you're going to have bad days. There's no in-between, and you definitely were having a bad day when the breakup happened. I had never seen you in a more miserable state. Life is full of surprises. It's completely unpredictable. You never know what it's going to throw at you. You're going to have pros, you're going to have cons, you're going to have ups, and you're going to have downs, and you're going to have good days... And you're going to have bad days. There's no in-between. That's just how life works. The best thing that you can do 
is live your life to the fullest and experience things that you know make you happy. That's why I spent two days with you after the breakup, because I knew that when you hung out with me, it made you feel a bit better. I knew it wouldn't make you happy in that moment because you were still freshly broken up with, and it would take a while for that wound to heal. But when I finally saw you smile for the first time ever since the breakup, it sent me over the moon. I was just so glad to know that you were feeling a lot better. By the way, are you, like... Okay, good. You've That's good to know. You've moved on. That's really good to know. Hey, look at me. Whatever happens, you're... You're going to get very far in life. You're going to succeed, and you're going to find a special someone to spend your life with. You're going to achieve big things someday. I believe in you, bestie. I really do. And I, I hope I can do the same thing. I don't know what life holds for me. You don't know what life holds for you. Best we can do is live in the moment. And... Honestly, sitting on this bench in the night right next to you, this is the perfect way to spend this night, in my opinion. Hey. Um. Uh. There's also another reason why I was trying to find you. I, um had something that I wanted to ask you. Uh, so, um... Uh... I, uh... Dang. All of my courage just went away. Now, I, now, I'm, now I'm scared to say it. Uh, okay, no, like, like I, I, I was legit like mentally preparing myself to do this. I, I was even like practicing in the mirror a couple of times, and I was confident that I was gonna be able to tell you this or ask you this. And now that I'm finally at this moment, I, uh, <laughs> gosh, I am so bad at this. Um. Okay, look. I, um, okay, so I've been your friend for a really long time now, like almost a decade. We grew up in the same neighborhood together. You and I did so many fun things together. We did so many fun activities as kids. Summertime was the best part because that was when we could go swimming. Gosh, I honestly miss those days. Just being kids... You know, being able to just do what you want without having to worry about taxes. All we had to worry about was the next version of Minecraft coming out. I still remember when you came over to my house to tell me that 1.6 had just released. Oh my gosh, the excitement that I felt. It was like, I think I felt the same amount of excitement when we watched the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. God, that movie was so freaking awesome. I don't care what the critics say. They're, they're wrong anyways. Back on track. I remember when I was hosting my... I think it was my 11th birthday party. It was Minecraft-themed. And you were the first person to come over to my house. And by first, you came over before the party had even started. Like, three hours beforehand. You came over to help set it up. And... That, uh... That did mean a lot to me. And then... You stayed with me all day. You made my birthday a special one. Oh, by the way, thank you for the Minecraft pickaxe that you gave me as a birthday gift. I still have it, just so you know. Of course, it's aged, because, you know, it's been nearly ten years since that day, you know? But just know I still have it. But, um... I, uh... 
Uh, look, I, I'm getting to what I'm trying to say. Just, my point is, okay, you know what, yeah, I've been stalling for way too much. I, 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 I should just come out and say it. I, um, yeah, all right, come on. Grow a pair, man, come on. Did my neck just crack? Yeah, it did, crap. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> okay. I, uh, I, uh, I like you, okay? Yeah, I, I like you. A and yes, in that type of way. Okay, do you want the honest truth? Do you honestly want me to tell you how long I have felt this way? Okay, okay. Since seventh grade. Dead serious. I am not capping. I am being 100% honest. I have had these feelings for a very long time. And I never had the courage to tell you. It was back when we were, I think, 13. And... We had just finished the first week of school and we were enjoying the weekend. We were visiting that tree that we would always go to that was near the lake. And we climbed up into it. And we were sitting on the branches and I decided to try to climb up a little further. Even though we both agreed that if we climbed up any further we would run the risk of slipping and falling. But me being 13 years old and wanting to impress a girl while also going through changes known as puberty, I wanted to do something daring, and I decided to climb up there. I don't know why I'm telling you all this, because you watched it happen right in front of you. Anyways, I slipped, fell from the tree, and broke my leg. I uh, passed out, and when I woke up, the first thing I saw was you, and I felt like I had gotten butterflies in my stomach. I think that was the first time I had ever gotten butterflies in my stomach. You were stroking my hair and telling me that everything was going to be okay. I was terrified because I had never broken a bone before, but you comforted me through it, the entire thing, and it meant the world to me when you helped me through that. That was when I fell in love with you. And these feelings never went away. In fact, they've continued to grow stronger and stronger until this very moment. And here I am now, finally pouring out years upon years of feelings that I've had for you. They were still there even when you were dating someone else. Even when you were dating... I still loved you. And I still feel that way. But if you don't feel this way, I understand. I just... I'm just glad that I finally got that off. But I don't want to lose our friendship. I really, really don't. So if you don't feel this way, just tell me, okay? And we can forget about this, and we can move on with our lives, okay? Now, I understand if you also need, like, some time to, like, you know, process this. I don't blame you, because I just, like, I dumped all of that on you. And it... it... Huh? Wait. No way. Wait, 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 seriously? You've... You've had these feelings for me, too? No, no, okay, no, no. Stop the cap. Seriously. I'm being dead serious. Are you actually saying that you have the same feelings for me? Holy shit. Holy shit, you're actually being serious. Uh... Um, 
Oh my god, I'm blushing. I'm blushing, aren't I? God. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Um. Uh. Wow. That's, um, surprising. Oh my god, I just realized. We've been holding hands this whole time. <laughs> so, um... What do you say? You want to give it a shot? Do I want to give it a shot? Well, yeah. I wouldn't be asking you if I didn't. You make me really happy. We've spent so much time together over the years. We've made so many memories. And there's so many things that we can do together. And being a couple would open up even more opportunities. And I want to experience all of that with you. There's no other person in this world that I would do it with. I want to experience every future memory I could make with you. You'd love to do that? All right, then. Sounds like a plan. But, um, there's only one true way to make it official. I think you know what that is. Hey, you know, I never realized just how beautiful your eyes are, and how pretty you are. You think I'm handsome? I'm pretty too? Well then, what do you say we make it official? Kiss me. feels amazing. Can I kiss you again? Mm. Hey, let's get out of here. I was planning to ditch this party anyways. What do you say you come back to my place and spend the night? I have an unopened bottle of wine. I was thinking that we could open the bottle up, get drunk, watch the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, then maybe blast some music all around, and then watch a terrible horror movie. Just something fun that you and I can do. You want to do all of those things tonight? God, I, I love you so much. So, I saw your car in the driveway, and I'm going to assume that you got here the same way I did. So, just follow me to my house, okay? Sounds like a plan. I'm sorry, I just... I, I love kissing you. Oh, wow, I actually didn't think about that. Yeah, there's definitely a chance that someone in the party's watching us. So, uh... What do you say we get the hell out of here, my love? <laughs> right this way? <laughs>